Guys, welcome back to the Hush Life vlog. If you guys didn't know, we try to put up a weekly vlog every Thursday. We're just showing us what we're doing, what's going on in, in the Hush Life world, what's going on in our lives, where we're at. And then we do videos Monday through uh, Wednesday as well. So, welcome back. Anyway, today is something exciting. Showed up. Local uh, gun shop called and said my Weatherby's in. I've been excited to get this. Uh, the Weatherby guys told us last year that they were going to come out with a new line of shotguns, and they're here. This is the new line called the 18i. Come in three different models, the uh, synthetic, the waterfowler, and the deluxe. I believe, I, I waited to open this until you guys were with me. But I believe Kevin told me, yep, I was going to get the deluxe. So this is the Weatherby 18i deluxe. Look at this unveiling. You ready? Are you ready? You sure? Look at how gorgeous that gun is. That is a bad boy. So the Deluxe comes in a 3-inch chamber, 28-inch barrel. I believe the synthetic and the waterfowler, you can get them in 3.5-inch. Let's put this bad boy together real quick. Oh, even the barrel's pretty. Let's see if I know what I'm doing here. She's ready to roar now. That's a well-weighted shotgun. Yeah, she's a beaut. She'll do, Clark. It is nearing turkey season. This is the gun I'm gonna shoot a turkey with, hopefully, this year. We've got a few different turkey hunts planned. We're gonna try to do our Idaho turkey quest again. We have some, uh, a lot of revenge on those birds. They outsmarted us last year. We're actually going to hunt a couple different states with some different people. It should be fun. But uh, I think we're going to run up to the range real quick and go pattern this thing. It's very important to pattern a shotgun. If you're hunting turkeys, waterfowl, upland game, whatever it is, uh, you want it to know where your gun's shooting, especially with different chokes. I believe this comes with, yep, it comes with a box of chokes. So I believe there's one in there already. And then we've got some uh, improved modified, some modified steel. Improved cylinder steel shot. It comes with a full lead. I think I'm going to go with a full lead for turkey hunting. But we're going to run up pattern pattern this bad boy and see what it's doing. And and uh, if I'm going to be able to kill turkey up to 30 yards. Take him. Got him. He's dead. Guys, welcome to Ew. the rainforest. Ew. <laughs> Tony's terrible attempt at a cow call. I'm coming to check out some new water down here, see what the river looks like. There's a giant herd of elk just hanging out here, browsing. Pretty cool to see him out here though. You guys have never been to the Olympic Peninsula of Washington or the Oregon coast. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. These are just a bunch of Roosevelt elk out cruising around. Pretty neat to see. <laughs> How neat is that? Don't see any signs of any sheds anywhere, so we're going to mosey on, check out the river conditions. but. I'm looking forward to hopefully catching some fish, bringing you guys some action, hooking up with some really uh, old good friends of mine that kind of used to do a lot of fishing with when I lived in Oregon. And I uh, haven't been back to the Olympic Peninsula for probably five years. So we got Tony and Shale. You guys have seen them many times in our fishing videos before. And then a couple other buddies. But we plan on fishing tomorrow, which is Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So we'll have three full days of fishing action. Uh, they did pretty good today, the guys that are out there. But I just flew into Seattle today. Tony and I, had to run some errands, but then uh, just making it out here. So we're going to look at the river down here, go do some grocery shopping, head back to the house, and we'll be on the river tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy the series. Stick around to see something a little bit different. Fishing in a rainforest is pretty dang cool. Plus, there's elk. All right, guys, we have made our way to the range. We are going to uh, pattern this new Weatherby 18i. I just wanted to say that the uh, Weatherby has released a couple different models this year in the 18i. There's the full synthetic, 
there's the waterfowl and then there's the deluxe the deluxe is what i'll be shooting this year it also comes with a few choke tubes five to be exact um, it's got some steel tubes um, and some lead tubes as well so we're going to shoot a couple different shots this is a winchester double x it's three inch velocity 1300 it's a five shot one and three quarter ounce and then also this triple beard um, the only difference with this is actually it's a mixed bag of shot. It's five, six, and seven. So I'm going to shoot first at 20 yards and see where this shotgun's patterning at. First, I'm going to go pick up my target. All right, fire in the hole. Turkey Tom's coming in. 20 yards. Wowzers. I'd say that's a dead turkey. So I'm going to put another target on there. We're going to move it back 30 yards. I just want to shoot it out to 40 yards and see exactly where I need to aim. I was holding right here below his brain, I guess. But we're going to throw this in there. All right, so this time we're going to shoot the uh, Winchester Double X. This is a five shot. We just shot the triple beard, which is a five, six, seven. See if this changes anything. All right, fire in the hole. Turkey Tom coming in. Well, it's a lot more spread out this time, but I still think that's a kill shot. Got two up in the brain, some on the spinal cord. If you guys watched the turkey quest we did last year, we didn't, weren't able to kill a bird, but I really don't feel much I don't really feel comfortable shooting it past 30 yards. I'm going to set this up at 40 and just see, but uh, I think 30 yards is my limit to kill a turkey. I think we can call one in that close for sure. So, so this is good. This is why you want to come out and pattern your shotgun and see exactly where it's shooting and what it does with different loads. But so I was I was aiming right around in here, and most of my you can see the, the center of the pattern is low so i really need to be aiming exactly right here where i want to hit or even a little higher so this time i'm going to shoot i'm going to aim up here and see what it does all right 30 yards turkey tom coming in a lot better all right so compared to the last one this time i aimed right up in here and you can see that's a dead turkey 30 yards you guys watch the uh turkey tour from last year or turkey quest i should say we never had the chance to shoot a bird but like last year I'm, 30 yards is going to be my maximum range 30 and in i'll be able to kill a turkey for sure but i definitely think it's very important to get out and pattern your shotguns even if you're shooting ducks and and uh geese or whatever grouse it's good to know exactly what chokes are doing what and, and where you're hitting at certain yardages so that's why we came out here make sure the new weather be 18 eyes shooting where i want it to be shooting and uh, i feel confident i'm gonna shoot a few more times but uh i think we're ready for turkey season well we made it to uh, the uh, airbnb that we have chill made it for ben he's here we just got parked here and this is our little homestead let me give you a tour cribs baby it's cribs we got it a baby seat, that's for Tony, when he gets out of hand in the boat. <laughs> Lots of gear. Recycle. Check out this piece of artwork though. This is like the, literally the trippiest thing. It's like this 3D hologram of a wolf. Whoa. So sick. Pay Did you see that? For that? How about that? It's pretty wild. Got the kitchen. Bunch of bedrooms. Anytime you go on a fishing trip, Lots and lots of gear. I have these separate apartments. Room here, the guys are obviously into wolves. Another bedroom here. Dream catcher, Logan. Where you at, buddy? Just for the record, Logan loves wolves and he loves dream catcher. He would literally die to stay at this house. More gear, so much gear. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, look at all those flies. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy cow. That's the back of the box. That's the. <laughs> So if you guys have watched our Steelhead series with Born and Raised, you'll notice we're pretty much only throwing gear. Chael's a team's player, so he just kind of rolls with the flow, throws the gear. But this trip, it's gonna be a little bit different. My number one goal is gonna be learn how to cast a spay rod. 
and then try to watch Chael and Tony catch a steelhead on a spare rod, swinging a fly. Probably the most traditional way and the hardest way to catch a winter steelhead is this method. We're also gonna be throwing yarnies, beads, pink worms, bobbers, side drifting, kind of a host of a little bit of everything. But we're gonna make a point to try to get a fair amount of fly fishing in on this trip over the next couple days. So we'll keep you posted, but we're gonna get unpacked and uh, we'll be back in the morning out on the river. Not sure where we're gonna float yet. The weather looks like it's gonna be pretty ideal. This is a good time of year to fish this portion of Washington for steelhead. And I'm just excited to be back. It's so beautiful. For those of you that grew up and you watched the Twilight series, which personally I've never watched, have no idea, but this whole town and this community still living off the old Twilight series. So this house is associated to that movie in some weird way. I think it's called like the Jacob Black House, which doesn't mean anything to me, but if you watch the Twilight series, it might mean something to you. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the morning.